So today I will do something a little bit different. I want to compare the Sony ZV-10 to the iPhone 12 and see which one is better for YouTube videos, especially which one is better for vlogs because they're both pretty good for vlogs in my opinion. So now I will go for a walk before it gets too dark outside and then we will compare the iPhone and the Sony ZV-10 and see which one is better. <laughs> So the Sony ZV-10 is specifically made for vlogging, so it has a few features that will make vlogging easier, like the flip screen, the good autofocus, and it even has a product showcase autofocus mode. So right now the normal face detection mode is activated, and if I show something like this monster can, and I hold it in front of my face, you can see it's still focusing on my face. But if I activate the product showcase mode, and I hold the can in front of my face, like that, you can see it focuses on the can. But if I remove it out of the frame, it focuses on my face again. So as soon as I want to show you something, I hold it here and it focuses on the product I'm showing right now. In my opinion, it's a pretty good mode if you want to do a product review. Like if I want to do a review about my gimbal that I use for my iPhone all the time, I just hold it here and I can show it and it focuses on it. And as soon as I remove it, it's on my, it focuses on my face again. So there's another nice button on this camera. It's the background blur button. So if I get this close to the camera, you can see the background is not blurry at all. But if I press this button, you can see the background gets blurry. This lens doesn't have a pretty blurry background. So if you've got a faster lens, the background should be way more blurry than that. So the iPhone and the Sony ZV-10 don't have the best audio quality. That's the reason I'm using a Rode video micro on this camera. But if I remove this microphone, you should hear the difference pretty good and it doesn't sound good in my opinion. So if you choose to get the Sony ZV-10, get a microphone with it because audio quality with this microphone is way better. Because if you want to make YouTube videos, audio quality is one of the most important points. So the iPhone 12 is made for the average user, but it still has a few good features for vlogging. It has an ultra wide lens, pretty good stabilization and it's in your pocket all the time. Last week I tested the iPhone and Sony on a trip to the mountains here in Germany and shot some comparison footage. So on that trip I used a custom S-Log2 profile which I will show you later. And on that trip I learned that you should lock the exposure and white balance on the iPhone because you can see some color shifts in some situations. So the last few things I need to tell you are that the iPhone and the Sony are not the best in low light, but with the Sony you still got the option to change to a better lens. Both cameras have the ability to shoot for post-production, what means you can color grade them. On the Sony you got the S-Log2 profile and on the iPhone you just activate HDR video for 10 bit video or you download an external app like the Moment Camera app. So now I will show you my custom S-Log2 profile. For that we go to the settings, go to picture profile and you can choose any picture profile. In my case it's PP6 and you just change the gamma to S-Log2 and color mode to ITU709 matrix. Detail to minus 7 and that's it with the profile. So the reason I'm using Rec. 709 colors instead of S gamut is that the Sony ZV-10 is an 8-bit camera and when you try to convert it to a normal looking image it starts falling apart and that doesn't happen with my custom profile so it's way better than S gamut in my opinion. And if you want to learn how to color grade iPhone footage you can click on this video right now. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.